Today's Midday Kentucky cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen, and I am with Amanda Nybert. You all know her as our resident dietitian and uh, nutritional expert. And I think we're talking a little bit of meal prep planning today because as we're getting into the new year, uh, routines, you know, it's just, it seems like Christmas is busy, but then it just never seems to slow down yeah. at the beginning of the year. So meal prep is certainly an important factor in your weight loss goals and just planning and, and maintaining. So what are, we, what are we working on? We're going to be doing some um, meal prep shredded chicken. I, I honestly feel like meal prep is a missing piece for most people with long-term weight loss success long-term healthy eating, um, those who fail to plan, plan to fail. Mm -hmm. You know, we live in a society where um, unhealthy food is fast, cheap, and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And healthy food takes just a little bit more effort. So there's some things that we can do like once a week on Sunday mm -hmm. to make healthy eating so much easier. And this is one of my favorite um, meal prep hacks. And that's just a simple shredded chicken recipe. Perfect. Yeah. So we're going to use um, an Instapot. You could also do this in a crock pot, but I'm sure tons of you got probably an Instapot for yeah, the, the holidays. Yeah, so this is a great way to list. kind of crack it out and, and utilize it. The nice thing about um, an Instapot, even a crock pot, is that um, with the Instapot, it cooks really fast mm -hmm. and it really infuses a lot of the flavors into the product. So like what could you put in with your chicken or do you sometimes throw in like jalapeno or onion or? The options are really endless. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so exactly. Yeah. So this little shredded chicken recipe, we're going to put a little red pepper flake. So it's going to have a little bit of spice to it. Mm -hmm. um, what we'll do is I've got two, um, two to three chicken breasts. You can do four or five. It's really up to you as much as you want to make. Um, we're going to add just a cup of chicken broth mm -hmm. just to give it that nice um, liquid flavor. A little salt, salt pepper. pepper. Added some chili flakes and we're good to go. So this is going to cook for 10 minutes on pressure. If you did it in a, in a crock pot, then you would um, yeah, so crock cook it much longer. Yeah, so the old school way where you would, um, you know, put it in the morning, let it go on low, come back after work, and everything's kind of ready to go, and you can pull it. But what's nice now with the Instapot is you don't have to have that cooking in a, you know, something going all day long. You can throw it in, and literally 10 minutes. 10 minutes later. That thing's ready to go. It is done. It and is so done. so we already have one here that's ready, right? Yeah, so we've got some chicken breasts here, and I've got to show you my genius. favorite yeah, pay attention. Hack. Because I hate like having to like take the forks and kind of shred the chicken. And I mean, I'm a chef, and I typically will cut butterfly it open and chop it. And chop, spend, chop, chop. And you know, and expend a lot of energy to do that. So Absolutely. When she told me she did this, I was like, yes. no brainer. So basically, all you need is a um, mixer. We're just going to throw all of our chicken breasts in the mixer. We're going to turn it on, and it's going to shred it for us. Um, and what I love about this is that um, it creates just really finely shredded chicken um, and this is great to use for chicken salad it's great to use in your stews it's nice. great to use yeah in Mind your blown. I know in your um, in your salads throughout the week and it just makes getting that shredded chicken so much easier yeah so just crank it up yeah perfect I can't wait just for you guys to see this some things while she's showing you that I love to use mason jars. Look I at mean, that. look at that, gang! It's gorgeous. That and how was three easy. seconds. Three like seconds. Five seconds. I know. Oh. Little things like that make getting meal prep so much easier. For sure. And if you all haven't um, followed Amanda Nyberg on Instagram, I'm a follower, and she is always sharing her meal prep ideas, meal prep tips, and you know it's very helpful. And, yeah, and you got to make it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Or you're not going to do it. Yeah. yeah. So I love to I love to use mason jars for like soups. Um, I know you've made a soup this month. Yeah. You can put them in the soups. Uh, I mean, put them in the mason jars. Keep in your refrigerator. And if you, can you just leave bag this and freeze it too. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah. Um, leave about an inch, and you can stick it in the freezer if you yeah. don't use them. And then I also love these individual um, kind of just rubber made um, things to make meal prepping a little bit easier. Yeah. Put together Stackable. three or four of these for the week. Easy to stack in your fridge. Don't Quick take and go. Much room. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the more that you can do on Sunday, the better. Yeah. 
Well, you guys know this is the time of year to really like kind of hone in on your weight loss goals and Amanda Hutt's program is definitely that. Um, it's not so much as a diet or a weight loss plan, it's more of the lifestyle Absolutely. and just learning all the tricks and the tips to um, accomplishing those goals. So you can follow Amanda Nybert at amandanybert.com or on Instagram at Amanda Nybert. I'm Chef Allison Davis. You're watching Midday Kentucky. We'll be right back after this short